welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make charm bracelets. This is very beginner friendly. Um, even if you're advanced, I still recommend you watching this video just in case you want to learn something new that you probably didn't know. Um, but yes, please enjoy. I'll be going through everything step by step. I'll be breaking everything down and you guys will actually be able to see an overhead view of my hands working to create the uh, bracelets. And some of the bracelets that you will see today in this video will actually be posted on my website and make sure that if you want to shop with me, shop at tailsoriginals.com so you can, you know, shop, you know, the originals, bangles, bracelets, and more. Um, make sure you do follow my social media at Taylor's Originals on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, um, even like, comment, subscribe if you end up liking this video. Um, but just to stay in touch, make sure you follow me. But without further ado, we're going to get into the video. All right, so first when making my charm bracelets, I like to gather my charms. I like to set them out um, and place them in the order that I would want them to show up on the charm bracelet. Uh, normally with my charm bracelets, I use five charms per bracelet. And as you see, I am getting out the charm bracelet links. I get these from my vendor. You can go, um, I'm not gonna give up my vendor information, but you can go on Alibaba, or Etsy um, or AliExpress and find a vendor or you can just Google chain link bracelets uh, mine are I want to say around I want to say five seven point five inches long um, I don't put charms excuse me I do not put charms on all of like the links because I like to leave some room uh, for the customer to be able to adjust them when they put them on like whether they want it to be tighter um, or looser so you will see me just laying out my links um, the way that the clasp goes I guess it doesn't really matter but some people um, prefer to go one way over the other um, I just say do whatever you want to do Um, materials needed, well supplies needed, uh, you, we, we would need split ring pliers and just regular needle nose uh, pliers. Uh, we will need the split ring pliers because we will be using split rings instead of jump rings to secure our charms on the charm bracelet. This is very important because split rings hold um, the charms better than jump rings because with jump rings the charms have tendency to fall off um but yeah so as you can see a split ring pretty much looks like two jump rings put together um also the size split rings i'm using is um 10. you could probably get away with eight um but to each its own Also, with rose gold split rings, those are harder to find. Um, you can go on XYZ beads, I believe, um, and find rose gold split rings. So, I guess I put that little tidbit in there for free. Thank me later. Um, but as you will see, I use my split ring plier and I open up the split ring and I put it, um, I slide it on, I slide my charm onto the split ring and then I use my needle nose plier to move the split ring um on the charm and you know that you've done it correctly when you, you know you can pull on the split ring um on the charm and it feels secure um and i'll do that for the rest of my charms Also, if you need help finding any charm vendors, please refer back to a previous video that I made. I will have um, a link at the top of this video and down below that you can click on to go and watch that. I think it's pretty helpful, especially for beginners. Um, but 
right for right now in this video you'll just see me repeating the same steps as far as uh putting split rings on my charms um and then you will also see me put them on the chain link which i will get to momentarily Okay, so also a little trick that I like to do um, when I apply the first charm, I like to count five from the end. And then after that, I, I don't know why um, the video stopped, but after that, um, I like to count by fours. So I'm so sorry for the gap, but I'm pretty sure that my phone had died. But I count five at first, and after that, I count four. So... Um, on the fifth, I guess, like, opening, I'll apply the first charm. And then after that, I'll count to four. And then on the fourth hole, I'll put the next charm and then so on and so on. This leaves enough uh, room for your customer to be able to, to tighten or loosen her bracelet. Um, if you apply charms on each hole, if you end up selling the bracelet to a lady or a male who has a smaller wrist, uh, the, the bracelet's just gonna simply fall off and it's, they don't wanna wear it if it's gonna be too loose. So you always want to be considerate of your potential customer. So if you made it to the end of this video thank you thank you thank you so much for watching i really hope that this video helped you i hope that you take you know some tips and tricks and whatever you learn from this video to help apply to your business or your future business um but don't forget to follow me at sales originals and don't forget to shop if you know you want some sales originals i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.